So as a graphic designer, one of the biggest things you're going to be doing in Adobe Photoshop is cutting out and isolating objects so that you can place it on specific ad campaigns or designs. And it can be one of the hardest tasks because some objects are really easy to isolate and some that have more complex hair and different things can be very hard to isolate. So we're going to talk about all the different options you have for cutting out and isolating objects out of photos so you can make your own photo compositions, make your own flat lays. There's a lot of things you do, you can do when you have learned to isolate and cut out objects out of photos. So let's go ahead and get started with some of the more basic options. So with the newer versions of Photoshop, there is something called the Object Selection Tool. This is brand new in Adobe Photoshop 2020, and also 2019's version had something very similar to this. So if you have Adobe Photoshop 2019 or higher, you're in luck. You'll have access to this tool, and don't worry, I'm going to go over all options for all different users. So let's go over this really, it's one of my go-tos. I like to use this first because I think it let the algorithm, let the computer help us select an object. And that's exactly what this is going to do. So before in the 2019 version, you'd go to select. Let's go ahead and select our object here, or our photo and our layer. You would go up to select and there's something called subject. So it's going to automatically try to figure out the subject that you're picking. And it kind of did a good job. If I were to press uh, delete, um, didn't really select the coffee inside, so I guess it didn't do a very good job with this particular one. It tends to do better with people. But the newer 2020 version has a brand new tool called the Object Selection Tool. And instead of just doing it on the whole entire photo, it you can actually click and hold and it'll just isolate one particular area. So it's going to do the select subject on one particular area and it did a very good job. So if I were to copy just Command C and paste Command V. I have a brand new layer here and I can move this over and I just created a perfect well cut out copy. So that's very easy. That's why sometimes updating your software can be very convenient, but it doesn't mean you can't have all these other options to isolate as well. So let's try some of the more traditional ways to isolate objects. So my next go to is the lasso tools. Uh, we have the regular lasso tool which you'll just have to click and hold your mouse and try the best you can to isolate an object, but usually it ends up failing miserably when you try to cut it out because it's gonna be how good you are with the mouse. So a lot of times I'll do the quick lasso tool to quickly circle and select an object very quickly and it doesn't have to be perfect. So there's something even better called the magnetic lasso tool. So it's gonna be the same thing as the lasso tool, but it's gonna actually have a magnetic kind of quality to it and it's going to naturally I'm not even press I just pressed once and now I'm just kind of dragging my mouse around and it's going to magnetically attract to similar pixels that you're going along so this works really well with high contrast colors so you have this nice big blue with this nice dark brown and it has a high contrast this works very nicely it does not work very good when you have colors that are very similar because the computer doesn't know what you're trying to select with the magnetic quality of the magnetic lasso tool. So I'm going to come back and see that circle icon. I'm going to go ahead and click back at the original and I have a pretty decent selection. So let's say um, I made a little mistake and, and I kind of moved my mouse a little too much. The magnetic stuff really helps, but sometimes it doesn't always work perfectly. I want to subtract that selection. So if I want to add to a selection, you would hold down shift and you would just click and just kind of draw a circle, click back to the original and you can add to a selection. But I want to subtract a selection. So I'm going to go up here and do the subtract from selection option. And so now when I click and isolate that little bit, it will subtract that selection. So using the magnetic lasso tool, which is more of a traditional way to isolate objects, and that's available in a lot of versions of Photoshop. You'd have to have a pretty old version of Photoshop to not have that available. That did a pretty good job, I think. Uh, very similar. It took us a little longer to isolate it than the other option, but I think it worked really well. And there is yet another way to cut objects out, and it's great to kind of learn all these and to figure out which one is best for each situation. They're all going to have 
a different way. You, you might have to cycle through a couple ones to find out which one is working good for a particular situation. And through time, you'll learn which one works better. So the pen tool is really good for complex shapes and especially shapes that have a lot of curves to them because the pen tool is really good with curves. So we're going to be talking about the pen tool. We're going to be talking about the pen tool a lot in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to be mastering it. But in Photoshop, we're just going to do the very basics. So we have the pen tool selected. And let's say we want to isolate the coffee cup, not just this easy circle, because we can just easily select that out. Uh, so we want to go around the curves of this and we want to select this little handle. So with the pen tool, we're going to click right here. We can click anywhere. And we're going to go over to a specific area and click again. And instead of releasing, we're going to hold and pull. We're just going to kind of slowly create a curve. And uh, in Adobe Illustrator, we're really going to be working with this tool a lot. It, it works very similar to um, Photoshop. Photoshop and Illustrator pen tools work, have the same mechanics. So when you master one, you kind of master them all. So if you really want to take those pen tool lessons in Adobe Illustrator, they're very helpful to kind of learn. So I'm just kind of going through this, selecting. And it's great because I'm able to do these little curves, which is really hard sometimes to do with like the polygon lasso tool. Sometimes the magnetic lasso tool is not an option because there's not enough contrast between the colors. Sometimes it just doesn't work as well. So I kind of selected this basic shape. And at any time, we can select a particular anchor point. These little points that we've selected are called anchor points, and you'll learn all of that in Adobe Illustrator. And you even have more complicated options like the curvature tool, which you can select a particular anchor point and uh, have a little bit more control over curves which is very helpful and in Adobe Illustrator, we're gonna use a lot of these similar tools. So I would um, suggest you go master it in Adobe Illustrator and then when you come back to Photoshop, you'll feel a lot more comfortable with it. But I wanted to talk about it as an option for isolating objects. So let's, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. We're able to easily do curves. So what we're gonna do is when we already selected our shape, so when we drew a shape with our pen tool, it created what's called a path. So this is where our path kind of window comes in handy. And this is the path that we created. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click our path and we're gonna go down to make a selection. Now we're just gonna go ahead and click on okay and it's gonna turn our pen tool path that we created into a selection of the object. So now we can do go down to our original layer, copy, and then just paste it into a new layer. Let's go ahead and drag our path, to, path tool over there. Anytime you use the pen tool, it creates a path. That's why that's handy. And here's our little isolated cup. So we can always trim. I love using the pen tool for trimming certain objects I cut out and I maybe don't like how it's cut out. I can grab that pen tool again to select. I'm just going to trim that a little bit. And this is pretty complicated. I know we're still just getting to learn the basics of Adobe Photoshop. So let's say I want to trim that little bit off. I could just right click and just make a selection and gone OK. And then I can go back to my layer, toggle my layer, make sure I got the right one selected and just delete, press the delete button. That's a really great way to trim objects.